very much for being here. Let's please welcome the Absa Premiership Coach of the Month. It's a record. It has never happened before, third time in a row. Please welcome Kaiser Chiefs Coach, Coach Ms. And we've got a person who's won it three times in a row, and yet we also have a person who's never won this award before, ever. This is the first time for him to be here. I'm quite excited to please welcome one of the most dynamic young players in the Absa Premiership. Please welcome Sipon Bullet. This is Absa Premiership Player of the Month. So I'm sure Coach Enz is going to give you some tips for how to win these things. Eh? <laughs> Alright, so Coach Enz, it doesn't happen in the history of the APSA Premiership that a coach wins three times in a row yes. in one season. Congratulations. Your thoughts, please. Yeah, um, thank you for uh, getting this award. Uh, second time in our win. So if you come a second time, you know what to say, okay? First time, but um, good. Third time is uh, quite uh, something, and uh, um, good. Definitely something uh, uh, not here in the PSL, probably uh, worldwide, um, to really be part of. Uh, we at Kaiser Chiefs uh, um, have a very clear understanding, and I repeat this, um, despite I said it already twice, uh, that's uh, the technical team. Um, who make it happen uh, to be successful. Um, the head coach, of course, in the leadership uh, position is always somebody who challenges uh, the technical team members. Uh, the reference point for us is always the last game uh, to go into a certain standard and uh, always to look into it to do better, to use the resources we have at the Kaiser Chiefs in terms of the knowledge, in terms of the different departments. And I think uh, then uh, probably with this attitude of um, cooperation, of sharing knowledge, uh, of being part of the technical team, uh, representing uh, here the technical team of Kaiser Chiefs uh, a certain time in a row, I think uh, is a very uh, proud moment uh, for all of us uh, at Natorina. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I really uh, think it's uh, something uh, uh, really to be part of, uh, just to repeat myself. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Coach, once again. Now, moving on to somebody who has not won, won this award before, but certainly we're looking forward to many from him. Sipo, congratulations. Voted by the judges as the Absa Premiership Player of the Month. And just share your thoughts. First of all, when you got to the call, I'm sure from Brian, telling you that you are the Player of the Month, what was your reaction like? If you can, we'll also teach oh. you that you have to switch the microphone on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently I didn't know that I won the Player of the Month award. They just, they just told me that I have an interview here. So I was, I was, when, I, when I come here, they say, he's saying congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm sure what are you talking about? That's why, that's why I hear it from you. Wow, no way. Serious. Wow. But I think I'm, I'm pretty much happy to win this award for the first time. And I think the credit must go to my teammates. They've been pushing me in training, advising me in what not to do and what to do. And to the coach as well, he's, he's really been good to us as well. And I think the season hasn't been the way we wanted it to be. But I think we'll get better and do, do better second round. Great stuff. As part of your job, you have to look that side. Forget me. Those are the people you're talking to all the time. But that's fine. Okay. Okay. I'm, hey, still what? Le I'm still learning. Don't no, worry. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the opportunity to interact with the Absa Premiership nice. Coach of the Month and also the Player of the Month. I'll take the first question, please. Who will shoot first? Who's going to shoot first? I think you must go to Carabo. Well, good afternoon. Sipombuli. Great. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right. 
Sure. Uh, I think a lot has been said about you this season, and uh, particularly that you might be the player of the season, or maybe the young player of the season, considering that you just turned 21 years of age. Uh, how do you keep the, the discipline off the field? I mean, obviously there's a lot uh, that, that, you know, happens <laughs> off the field, but how, how do you keep yourself grounded off the pitch and ensure that, you know, you are a footballer, a footballer first uh, before, you know, you turn up the pitch? How do you keep yourself grounded? I think first it's being with good friends, friends that you, you know that they're not going to track you down. So I think the person that I'm with all the time is Tebo Mkwena. So I think I must also give him the credit because I'm always with him and I think he do the right thing as well. Alright, next question please. Who has the next question? Temba is here. Elile, yellow card. Congratulations, Tampa Shabalala Joseph, I'm sports coach. Congratulations to you. Um, you keep, we keep to be on the good roll this season. We keep doing things and everything favors you this season. Um, what would be, would be your ultimate dream, coach, now that you've won this three times in a row? Um, the absolute you know, premiership uh, um, title still within your reach, it's in your hands, if I may say. Um, and now, apart from the setback in my respect, what else has made your season what it is now? If you're talking about the good side of it, and how far are you looking at going? Yeah, um, I would not totally agree with uh, all your used words uh, inside your statement. Um, <laughs> I think we were, uh, from the beginning, uh, one of the teams that uh, earliest for the preseason. Uh, we had a very clear understanding in terms of our target and goal and um, good. They are always, uh, can show it, they are always in terms of the goal setting uh, a priority. Uh, the priority is the league, the priority is uh, going for the championship inside the PSL in uh, being 50 years uh, on the market with uh, the club uh, Kaiser Chiefs. Um, of course, it is, it is definitely something uh, at the time when we played this uh, telecom co competition going uh, all the way through to the semi-final, uh, definitely uh, an achievement, uh, probably not uh, the highest one, but uh, a certain achievement uh, being on the top four teams. Uh, good. Uh, it's not about uh, dreaming, it's not about uh, going so far to say, okay, where you want to be in I think in the moment uh, what we can uh, influence uh, and where we have the power uh, is uh, to do a good uh, preparation regarding our next uh, game. And the next game is on Sunday, kickoff is at 3 o'clock, uh, an away game for us. And that is where we, we, we go and, and to look into it to optimize uh, our, our points. Uh, whatever is possible, we get there. If it is the maximum, uh, we are very happy, but we work for the maximum and uh, that is something uh, what we do since the beginning of the season. It doesn't matter if we had a pre-season game in, uh, in a team, playing a team in Botswana or, or whatever, we, we Makufa Cup or, or we go and, and play uh, Shell Helix, uh, it doesn't matter. We, we, we just go to the next game and that is uh, where we are really uh, have a reference point. At any time we played the uh, Lumpante and Celtic, our last game, uh, second half was absolutely uh, fantastic in terms of winning the second half 3-0. Uh, so, uh, of course, the entire game uh, going into 90 minutes, we know that we have to do stuff better, uh, really uh, referring to it. And that's uh, our job as a technical team, uh, to use our resources and to be better prepared, uh, well prepared uh, uh, for 90 minutes in our next game. And, and this is uh, the procedure. The rest is uh, not really uh, what can be influenced in terms of other stuff we play. We do uh, a job in terms of being well prepared, maximum, optimum, uh, train as, as good as possible with all our resources and that's, that's uh, the way uh, what we can influence ourselves. Okay, I'll take the next question. You take us... Oh, Homo. I promise you I wasn't ignoring you. I just couldn't see you. <laughs> no worries, like uh, Homo Lima from the Soviet and Coach Ernst. Uh, January will be uh, a hectic month. I think we have six or seven games in that month. Um, <coughs> how are you going to you know, deal with that, uh, that load of games? And um, looking at the fact that 
I think you were playing super sport in the first game uh, in January. Maybe you can give an assessment of young Bulide, what do you think of him as a, as a player? And the challenge of that game as well. Let me shift the second part of your question a little bit to the side and let me think about how far is it uh, uh, in my uh, position as a coach of Kaiser Chiefs to assess a uh, player from another team. I don't think, but give me a second, uh, probably I will think about it uh, on the side uh, when we task it. Um, we have a quite a, a solid uh, average uh, package of games uh, in uh, January. It's a bit hectic in the beginning, on the 4th, uh, on the 8th and on the 12th, but uh, through the shifting of uh, the match against Midwest um, and beginning of uh, February, if we include this for example in the four weeks from the 4th of uh, January to the 2nd or 3rd of February, we have five games. Uh, five games in uh, four weeks uh, should be manageable. Uh, it is not really uh, confusing or irritating. We have to do a good job in terms of uh, the start. Uh, we will have only a short break of three days and uh, then 26th of December we are in full run preparing ourselves. Um, so I, do, I don't see really uh, the input of uh, a break, what uh, could take you out of it. Um, we have a very clear uh, planning set up already uh, in details uh, uh, till the end of January. That is what I can say and in the moment I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the second um, good, uh, yeah, my multitasking, uh, I think it's, it's, it's definitely something to, to recognize uh, players uh, in this age, uh, players in this uh, role, and uh, let me just, just make one or two, two comments. I think it's, it's uh, not very often that you have midfielders uh, who has a portfolio of uh, certain uh, quality in defending and attacking. Um, what I see here, what I have seen so far, uh, live of course, uh, playing super sport ourselves or watching other games in the stadium, I think he has quite a good uh, um, assembled uh, quality in both directions and um, good is able to score goals, is able to uh, score not only goals if you win 3 or 4 zero. I think scoring goals when it is needed, uh, I think this is something uh, what give a good indication of a quality player. And the rest I will leave to the coach from Super Sport United. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the transfer window will be open very soon. Um, have you decided on which players will be leaving and uh, which, uh, obviously um, must we expect any uh, players who will be coming through? And if possible, uh, those who are leaving, if you can tell us who, who they are. <laughs> well, the question is uh, uh, definitely uh, acceptable. Um, I hope you can uh, recognize and accept my answer too. Um, I believe it's, it's an internal discussion. Uh, we will have inside the uh, uh, Naturena. Um, what I could say or what I really want uh, to make it very clear um, from the technical team side and from the management side, I hope so. Um, we trust our, our players, we trust our squad, uh, which was assembled uh, in the beginning of the season. Uh, to make it happen. Uh, in the moment, uh, I would say uh, we go into the year 2020 with a very clear uh, indication to work with this assembled squad. If a player uh, and an agreement is uh, coming into it, uh, I think it's not a secret, uh, we have a number of players not being used, uh, I think it should always be discussed uh, individually um, with a player, with a club, uh, with a coaching, uh, how far uh, we will continue or what's probably uh, better and everybody has a win-win uh, moment. In the moment I don't see uh, any big discussions, any big uh, transactions uh, in or out uh, in both directions. Uh, next question. Uh, oh sorry, Minik. Uh, Minik Seller from New Zealand Africa. Firstly, to the coach, um, 
you just reveal that you won't be really taking a break? Is it something that you had planned long before the season started, or has the good start, you know, influenced your decision of trying to make sure that this lead that you have is maintained as best as possible? And uh, to see Paul. We've seen in the past these teams where they have good starts, then the second half it falls apart. We've seen it with Super Sport. What do you think you guys have, will initially have to do, probably in your return from the Christmas break, to ensure that you're also to maintain this lead and not able to lose that second place? Okay, uh, what I think that we should do is that we should continue working the way we did, even in the, in the break. I don't think the break is too long. So I think even when we get break, we must just keep active, and then we get back. We get back to it on January. Our first, our first game is Chiefs. So I think we'll prepare well against them. Uh, Zakele, sorry, sorry. There was a question for your coach, Ins. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there was a question for you. Sorry. I told you, coach. Yeah, in the, in, the, in the beginning of the season, of course, you 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 get the, the program. You get the set up uh, when the games are coming in and of course you are aware about it already that um, for me it's not a break if you go out for three days on, on 24, 25, 26 uh, what we are doing it's not a break it's, it's just a little bit uh, where you give a bit of, a, of a air to each and everybody uh, to do the obligation but uh, this, is, this is definitely uh, not at all and it's definitely something um, where I would say uh, we will not have a handicap uh, uh, in this direction, the players coming uh, unprofessional back or whatever. So, so no, that's, that's definitely uh, planned into it. You always uh, uh, have certain uh, cycles if you if you start training, planning a season in total. Uh, of course, you you always look it, uh, into it to break it up uh, into a certain direction. Sometimes it's about maintenance, and sometimes is uh, when you have two or three weeks in between. Uh, yeah, you can push uh, in certain direction whatever you want to do. What's uh, uh, in the plan uh, to go to the next step? Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, something. In the moment, I I would say uh, we are on track. I would say we are. Um, having parameters into it is not only the points. I think the best parameter in terms of strengthening, conditioning, or uh, that the training process is probably right, uh, done by the technical team, planned and executed. Uh, if you have a limited number of injuries, uh, as long as you have your entire squad uh, available for selection, uh, whoever are the 20s uh, traveling, whoever are finally the 18 or finally into the starting 11 and we are currently definitely in a, in a very blessed uh, situation that um, yeah probably one or two uh, but the rest is totally uh, available for selection for the next game and I think that is where we are really uh, can say it's a good indication that probably a good work is done. Yes, Zakele, then Kodo Homoto. Zakele, from this one, as a coach, you'll be facing a one day match back on that side this weekend. Um, so, do you believe it's a good time or to face them? Um, uh, from what they did to you, and it's from knockout. And then to see for when you request your friend Debza and what he has achieved in football, um, what, 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 what kind of inspiration do you draw from him and kind of conversation do you have with him? I think our, our conversation is always about good things, good football, where to improve, what to do and what not to do. So I think we've been we've been doing well in terms of uh, what can I say? In terms of giving each other right information at the right time. So I think our conversations are, are, are quite are quite good. It's always uh, a discussion. What's the right time? What's the wrong time to play each other? What's what's really? Uh, I, I don't I don't think it's a, it's a, a valuable discussion. It is uh, the program tells us on the twenty second it's on. Uh, what happened uh, uh, in in ten or eleven or seven days uh, uh, in terms of preparing? Uh, uh, each team has to decide themselves. We have a very clear uh, idea uh, going there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not really uh, busy with uh, circumstances of uh, competition. The team uh, it doesn't matter which name. Uh, we look at ourselves what we can uh, uh, prepare and what we can influence. Cool. Um, I'm here. Uh, 
to add to the question you just asked, I think. Uh, we can see you there. Uh, I'm done, but I'm Passage down. Yeah. Okay. Um, to go back to the question about the transfer window in January, has any of the clubs approached you with regards to the players they might like to have on loan? Um, and which area of your team, which, which are the areas you'd like to strengthen uh, in the general transfer? And uh, are you having targets in the PSL that you'd like to get players would like to add to your team as a challenge for the league? No, as a Currently, or as I'm sitting here now, um, into my direction, um, there is no approach uh, from, from any team, uh, as I know, uh, probably inside the management office, uh, but I'm not the right person. I was not approached uh, at all to think about uh, player X, Y, Z, uh, how far we will use him or how far we will uh, be able to release. Uh, definitely not. Um, I said before, if there is interest and based on a certain discussion uh, to look in, in all directions and, and the decision will be done uh, inside Naturena, uh, yeah, good. We will uh, put it in, into the public. Uh, I think uh, that's the procedure. Um, we have a number of players, uh, and I said it already several times, for different reasons. We have a number of players. Um, we haven't used so far, uh, even players uh, coming in from outside, uh, players coming back from, from an injury uh, period. Uh, so that gives us, uh, of course, uh, a certain uh, potential to, because I see the, the development of a number of players, not only players uh, with a certain uh, experience, also players like uh, Ngobo coming back from his uh, Achilles uh, rupture, uh, younger players, uh, other players uh, like Happy, uh, Marciano who has been uh, uh, with Siabonga and Gisana successfully qualifying for the Olympic Games. Uh, they come into, into now being with us uh, more and more, uh, coming closer, uh, get the individual periodization attention and uh, yeah, I believe uh, they can contribute uh, the necessary competitive um, process inside the team that uh, first of all uh, look uh, what is available inside the club and uh, I believe there is still uh, a number of players uh, who will come in to the second half uh, first six months uh, of 2020 being part of the, of the team. Actually of course there are always uh, players on the market uh, could be interested uh, in particular uh, if they get uh, selected for the player of the month. Uh, you always look a little bit deeper into it and uh, could be uh, interesting, could be interesting to uh, try to find out. Of course, uh, meanwhile, journalists are very active uh, left and right uh, to give advice, uh, to give consultancy uh, which player should come and should be uh, released and, and so on. But it's legitime. Let's, let's discuss, let's not uh, uh, be so uh, stupid and not to listen to each other. I think uh, there is a number of players on the market here uh, what is definitely uh, prepared uh, uh, to be um, material for, for, for Kaiser Chiefs or for the bigger uh, stage uh, being competitive national-wide and of course international in future too. Um, you don't have to be only uh, in the spotlight if you get uh, selected for player of the month, the other one too. <laughs> Last question is very late, and then afterwards we'll just wrap it up and then do it. <laughs> uh, very interesting take, uh, Coach. <laughs> the last one. Very interesting take. Especially for a championship chase team. Mm. Yeah. Um, coach, Kaiser Shields is turning 50 um, next month. 7th January, I think, to be exact. Uh, what would it mean um, to, to bring success? I noticed that uh, the last time, the first time you were in the club, the club was 35, and uh, they are turning 50. You there? What would it mean to to bring success to to this giant um, as they turn 50? And and also uh, to Bule, I've noticed that uh, most of you boys who went to Egypt, you've been scoring throughout. Uh, Mahalo scored last weekend. 
and then in the great Africa we see um, Nyaupe scoring um, throughout as well, Mahaman also scoring. What kind of experience did you get and what, how has it benefited you that kind of goal? I think it was a great stepping stone playing Af playing Afcon qualifying for Tokyo, and I think what we learned is that uh, football in Africa is not the same as uh, they say they are more competitive. Teams work hard, the referees won't be on your side always. But I think first game we didn't score, we were not dead yet there. They played zero zero. So I think what Coach Nadoni and Kopo said to us is that. We must get into the habit of scoring goals and creating chances. So I think in that part we've been we've been doing very well, and everyone has been coming along as well. And I'm happy to be in the scoring sheet also. Uh, in celebrating uh, uh, 50 years uh, as a club, uh, as a brand. Meanwhile, um, at the same time to be successful, there's no doubt about it. Uh, can you imagine your Tumbling around uh, position nine or even less uh, in this uh, celebration, it's impossible. It's, it's definitely something um, what uh, we discussed uh, a lot uh, going into the season and really making everybody aware about it. Uh, what is on stage uh, with uh, even being an external uh, stimulus uh, to really um, go in. in preparing your mindset uh, game by game, day by day in training sessions and having a, a really uh, united force on, on the field uh, despite uh, having a 0-1, despite having a 2-3 in half time, uh, always uh, being capable to, to go with the right mindset into the game and uh, good. I think it's, it's definitely uh, a good point uh, in the moment uh, uh, really uh, to make it happen, to enter the year in a position uh, where probably Kaiser, the board of directors, or the entire uh, Kaiser Mutong family uh, want themselves to see in the end of the season.